Hey guys, so it's Wednesday. Um, I just left my uh, my workout. It was a uh, upper body day. My arms are literally dying. My shoulders are dying. My triceps are dying. I'm dying. <laughs> um, yeah, it was it was a good workout though. Um, so it's 7:30. Um, I I'm gonna go ahead and just um, prepare for the day. When I get home, I have therapy in a couple hours, and then um, I'm gonna go. We're back in the office today, um, and so there's a, a really nice i8 right behind me, um, the BMW i8. I haven't seen one in um, in a long time, actually. So whatever happened to them? Because they're really, really nice cars, and I remember like you know. They were all around the, um, they were like really, really popular back in like 2015, 2016, and they just faded out. Or did they end up being bad cars? Or did Tesla take the whole like hype, the whole luxury electric vehicle hype? Well, Tesla really isn't that luxury either though. Maybe, I don't know, but um, Speaking of Tesla, you know, um, I really, really want one. Uh, I don't know if it's going to happen this year. It might just happen, you know, the spring of next year. Um, I pump so much gas on this car. I literally pumped gas um, Monday, two days ago. Not even two days ago. And um, today's Wednesday morning. And I'm already at a quarter tank and I filled my tank up and that was like $52. Um, I just drive all over the place and um, a Tesla would definitely save me money on gas because you know, I would just charge it. Um, and from what I hear, superchargers don't cost that much. They're only like 10 or $15 to fill the whole battery. Um, so, I don't know, but uh, yeah, I spend a month easily like four to five hundred dollars on gas because I just drive way too much, and um, I feel like I would even out with a with a Tesla. I really want the Model Y. Um, I kind of like the Model Three. Um, one of my friends has it, and it looks cool. But I don't know if I can go back to a sedan. I really like the uh, the whole like SUV thing. Right now I have um, a mom car. It's a Ford Edge and um, it's big, but I feel like it's too big for me. Like, you know, um, I don't have any kids and, um, but it's, I mean, I feel like it's too big for me. So the Model Y would definitely be a little bit smaller and I could park it easily, e easier too, so. But yeah, you know, I'm manifesting it, putting it out there into the universe, ask and you shall receive. So I just gotta work a little bit harder and get my Tessie. But, um, and you know what other car I like too? I really like the Raptor. A Raptor just passed me, but uh, that's like a complete 360. No, not, not a complete 180 from the Model Y. That's like a gas guzzler, but, um, yeah, it's funny. Uh, but yeah, I uh, I had a good workout. I'm tired. I can't even think straight. But I'm ready for therapy because uh, a lot happened in the past week. And you know what? Like, I'm going to talk about therapy a little bit after this because it helps. It really, really helps. planning on moving anytime soon? 
Okay, cool. So if you were to move, um, where would you move to next? Still here in North Carolina? Yeah, Clayton's growing a lot. It's really beautiful over there, especially that neighborhood that you're in. So uh, what made you pick this area? What made you pick Clayton? Oh, yes, yeah. Coming up, because when we were in Garner, and we were just waiting to buy something. Got it. Yeah, I'm actually originally from Garner, so Clayton's right down the road. I'm sorry, guys. I went on a whole tangent about therapy, and then, you know, diverted a little bit about me working out, and then went back to therapy. <laughs> um, but, yeah, I'm, so I'm on the way to the office. Uh, it's almost
So the craziest thing happened. Um, I now had puppies. So now, are they your babies? Go feed them. Chanel.